eight times. Till the plate hits the floor, and then come up. I feel quite an intense contraction in the obliques and abs. Hello all, at the gym again today. Uh, today I started off with 20 minutes, no, 30 minutes on the manual treadmill. I uh, did backwards walking for 30 minutes. Um, if you guys have watched my videos from like episode, I guess, 1 or maybe even like 50 onwards, uh, you probably know that uh, backwards walking is something standard that I, or something standard or regular, or something that I used to do pretty much every day whenever I came to the gym. Uh, it was my usual warm up. And then another thing that I uh, like to do was 30 minutes of uh, sled or 30 sets of sled uh, where I start with no weight on the sled then add a 25 after 5 sets then add another 25 after 5 sets to get to 30 sets so by the end of it there's uh, 5 25 pound plates on the sled and uh, I've done five reps uh, or five times back and forth uh, with weight, if that makes sense. I hope uh, what I explained was coherent enough. Uh, and if you want to see what that looks like, I think it's episode five or six where I did uh, one hour of sled nonstop uh, just for the heck of it. So yeah, I didn't record it because it's pretty monotonous and there's not a whole lot to gather from it in any case uh, for the rest of today's workout I plan on doing mobility and abs so uh, another one of the mainstays of my gym workouts used to be like these uh, I don't know I don't know if exaggerated or these, I don't know exactly not necessarily over the top or exaggerated just like these complete mobility sessions that I used to do quite often and I think since uh, not working out at the gym that's something that I've kind of ignored I haven't lost mobility or anything uh, or not that I can really notice but uh, it does feel like uh, I'm less comfortable in some of those positions like if I try to get into like deep mobility, I don't necessarily feel like it's a problem, but uh, it feels like it's a little harder to get there. In any case, I've ranted enough for now. Uh, uh, the main point being today is mobility and abs. So starting off with what's probably my favorite mobility exercise, which is the cable good morning. But I'm going to do a few different variations of it uh, as a complex, I guess. And yeah, it'll target different areas of the legs. Uh, and just the whole body in, gener in general, because once you start bending in certain angles, you start feeling it in your back and all of that. In any case, uh, I'm going to keep one leg bent and one leg extended and do three reps so slowly leaning forward and letting the cable pull me and trying to slowly deepen the stretch and once I feel like I've hit a threshold I come up some of the things that I'm noticing as I do this is there seems to be a tendency for certain muscles to want to get tight as I go deeper into the stretch and I have to experience that and then consciously make those muscles relax which allows me to go deeper into the stretch.
I'm going to do three. Uh, the music is blaring too, so. And this is going to be like long sets. And usually when uh, it's like a long set and there is music playing in the background, it's not, the, uh, the microphone usually picks it up and then it's not so much fun to edit later. Another thing that I'm doing as far as the lift is concerned is tucking my stomach in. I find that allows me to uh, get a, le a little deeper into the stretch. And by tucking the stomach in, what I mean is, I don't know, if you've ever been shirtless in public and you're feeling self-conscious, you tend to try and uh, pull your stomach in so, uh, so that you don't look fat. That's essentially the same thing I'm doing. Uh, but what that does is, it gives me more room to bend forward. So I did three reps on one leg and now three reps into the other leg. And since I do jiu-jitsu and stuff, all of this seems to carry over really well into jiu-jitsu. Like one of the things that people noticed when I do a jiu-jitsu is that, uh, I don't know, they perceived me to be like a bigger muscular guy. So didn't, uh, I think most people don't expect to me, expect me to be uh, very mobile, but it turns out I'm more mobile than the average person. So, and well, not just more mobile than the average person, just uh, I tend to have pretty good mobility. So after three on each side, now I'm keeping my legs together. I'm going to do three again. So the, uh, initially I was targeting one, I guess, hamstring at a time. And now by having both feet together, it's like both hamstrings at the same time. The reason for doing it singularly and then double is that the way the muscles are recruited when one leg when you're just focusing on one leg at a time versus both legs at a time at the same time is slightly different and it's good to target them in all those ways and then finally doing wide legged so keeping my legs far apart till i feel a stretch in the groin area and all the same cues as before you can also play around with looking down as you come uh, as the weight pulls you forward or even looking up both of which tend to recruit the muscles in the posterior chain and hamstrings and stuff a little differently. Oh. So yeah, this is what I'm starting off with. I'm going to do two to three sets of this. And yeah, on to something else. So I don't know if this is a good angle to pick this up, but uh, this next, ex next exercise is a movement that I saw someone named Steph Rose Phase 6 is what she calls herself on Instagram. And it's this Zerker curtsy lunge or Zerky is Zerker dragon squat kind of thing. And uh, yeah. This is what that looks like. So I have a 25 pound plate on the landmine. And I'm going to get it in zerker hold position. I'm also going to lean into the weight a little, which allows me to 
like have all my weight on one leg without falling. So I'm going to start with like the opposite leg uh, with the hip flexor flexed or knee up. And then as I lower, I'm going to drive the other leg behind me and plant the toes and then sit into like a deep lunge and then come up. I'm going to do this eight times. Well, I feel it opening up the outer side of the hip that's working and of the leg that's working and also the hip flexor and abs of the opposite leg is working as well. Ah, switching sides. Yeah, during that whole exercise, I feel my core getting activated and also seems to work on the mobility of the outer side of the hips. So yeah, I'm going to do this for three sets and on to the next thing. So for the next movement, um, moving into some abs, I want to finish off with some hip flexor stuff. But before I do that, like I like to end off on like a hip flexor stretch usually. So I want to get a little bit of abs out of the way before I do that. Uh, so uh, using the GHD to do like a modified unilateral sit up. Uh, it's kind of awkward, but the fact that it's awkward makes the muscles work quite a bit harder. But let's jump right to it. So, getting on the machine and going to grab a 25 pound plate and going to lean back till the plate hits the floor and then come up. I feel quite an intense contraction in the obliques and abs of the side opposite to which the plate is. So I'm holding it in my right hand so my left side abs and obliques feel extremely recruited. Doing six on each side. Switching sides. Uh, this is an exercise that's appeared in a previous video, but since it's been a while that I've come to the gym and have been working out outdoors, this hasn't appeared in a while. So if you guys want to 
go back to episodes, I don't know, 50 to 250 or something like that. Uh, a lot of my workouts then used to be in the gym. So there's a lot of gym exercises in that. And also my training style used to be slightly different. So yeah, I'm going to do three sets of this and then probably on to some hip flexor based stuff. So as mentioned earlier, finishing off with some hip flexor stuff. So uh, the hip flexors, at least for those who don't know, are two muscles that are located over here that connects the torso to the hip or connects the torso to the legs. Um, so they're usually used to pick your legs up off the floor and so in theory if you make them stronger you should be able to run faster uh, and jump higher and things of that nature. So, attaching the cable to my feet. And so what I'm going to do is kind of mimic a running motion while raising uh, the appropriate knee at the same time. So, looks like this. So, kind of simulating a running style motion with my back to the ground. Going for ten on each side. By the end of it, I feel like a good pump, I guess, in the hip. So right here and then in the lower abs. And so now I'm going to f finish it off with a hip flexor stretch. So I'm going to do ATG split squats for 10 or no, 5 on each side. So don't let the back knee touch the floor. You want it off the ground. This stretches the hip flexor. And the further you're able to shift your weight into the front leg and open up your chest at the same time, the more the stretch is exaggerated. Switching sides. So yeah, doing these for three sets, then going to head to the sauna, probably stay in the sauna for about 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes, and that'll be it for the workout. So yeah, uh, 
that's probably it for today's video. Tomorrow is Jujutsu Day, so no video tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next one. Ah, random thing before I end the video. On November 23rd, which is two days ago, it was officially one year of me starting my channel. Uh, or at least posting regularly. And, I don't know. Uh, for God, people who have subscribed for a really long time, thank you. Uh, it feels like the channel has kind of stagnated over the past couple of days, but at the same time, it feels like there's uh, like at least few people that I know of that watch my videos regularly and seem to like what I put out. So thank you guys too. And yeah, I don't know. Just thought I'd mention it. In any case, yeah, see you all in the next one.